My experience has been that a loan to a poor person, a working person, is the best possible risk you can ever take. And all of the last 30 years have simply confirmed that for me. So we are just now entering into the Walltown neighborhood. If you have a family that becomes an owner of a home, they become involved in the church and in the school that's local because they have a little piece of the earth that they can claim for their family. I always say I got the prettiest house in Walltown. Self-help helped me buy my first home 15 years ago. I do have the experience of saying I own my house. And to me, that's a good feeling. Walltown Children's Theater received its first loan from self-help. This was a community that had a problem with gang violence, drugs, children that were disconnected. And when self-help came in and began to create homes that were affordable and a more safe environment, it changed the face of this community. The city of Greensboro, where I grew up, I saw firsthand what the lack of resources in families and in communities could do to real people. In the early 1980s, uh, North Carolina's economy looked like the Rust Belt. Whole communities were left unemployed. Self-Help's initial projects were working with those communities to start small businesses, and because we had been committed to cooperatives, we started a self-help credit union. So that enabled us to grow very rapidly, literally from a $77 bake sale to roughly $2 billion in assets. Starting in September of 2008, we joined together with eight other credit unions, most of whom served immigrants and Latino families in California. Our goal was to try to put capital and talent together so that families would have the opportunity to do what we call taking the civil rights movement into the economic arena. The housing market report card is ugly. You know, I've been watching 45,000 people lose their home and go into foreclosure every week. We don't have any time to spare. With subprime mortgage lenders and payday lenders, we didn't have a choice but to become very involved in advocacy work. Some Americans are turning to payday loans. So that led us to put together this coalition to stop predatory mortgage lending in the state of North Carolina. We basically were engaged in what became a hard-fought national battle. The North Carolina anti-predatory lending law set a marker that then was replicated in about 30 additional states across the country. Lending has been used as a means of freedom. It's also been used as a means of social control. If you believe in economic opportunity for all people, you just don't have a choice. You have to step up and take a stand and fight.